Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have for the for I the Lord do not change. Therefore you, O children of Jacob, are not consumed. Malachi 3 6. So yeah, just remembering God is good, God is constant. Um RJ and I have had some really good prayers this week. Um, but we'll get into that. So we'll start with um, my crochet. I have gotten, I think as far as I'm going to go on this. I like the length. Um, I like the look of it. I have my two little pockets to put on. I don't think I'm going to put any sleeves, but I have enough yarn left over that I think I'm going to make a long, um, scarf to go with it. Um, I can't wear a hat at work, so, um, and I may make some fingerless gloves. Um, but that is, I've been working on that in the evenings while I watch, um, something that's going on. Anyway, so, at work, um, everybody's learned that I crochet. There are some ladies that come by. So, I was gifted a couple of things that I want to share, and it just, I'm like, it's just Halloween, but I got gifts. <laughs> um, I've gotten rose rocks and stuff from people before, so um, I have a gentleman that's a geologist, and he came in, and he says, you're the first person I've ever seen with rocks up here and stones, and I said, well, I really like them, I'm not great at them, I don't know what, I just know what's pretty. And uh, he asked me if I had any rose rocks, and I said, well, I have one, but the field is closed down, so, you know, where they're from, it, it's hard to get them. He says, I have boxes of them. He said, when I was out there, he told me he was a geologist, and he said that he used to take classes out there. He's, he's a teacher, and he'd take his class out there, and they would get them, and he, he says, I have boxes of them, and he brought me a whole couple all different. I, I've got some doubles. I've got some things. So that was the coolest gift I've gotten until now. Um, so I got an infinity scarf from a client. Very cute. Um, don't know that I will keep this because it doesn't go with what I have, but Macy loves red. She'll be working at the farm. It would be easy for her to put this around her neck and go outside when it's cold. So there's that um but i thanked her and i it's amazing and yeah so i like it just i don't know that infinity scarves are my thing so i don't know i just wear regular scarves but i like them long i don't it is what it is then the second one um is a little lady that calls me on a regular basis. When I first met her, she was up and around. She drove herself, all that. Two and a half years later, she is in assisted living, has a wheelchair, and can't get around except for her granddaughter. So she came in to visit me for the first time in a long time. And she brought me, she, she does the canvas stuff, and she had made me a dog post-it holder, which... <coughs> I have up at my desk. I left that there. Um, I did have to move it to the back because people kept grabbing it, and I don't like that. That's a personal gift, and so I moved it to the back, and I take the post-it notes out and put it in my little holder and then use hers to hold it, but it looks cute. Anyway, she also made these, and these are thread crochet, and I don't know why. The minute she handed them to me, I started scanning for mistakes, and I don't see any. I mean, I do that to my work all the time, and I just grab it, and I was like, these are gorgeous, and it's just like, oh my God, and yeah, so they have the puffy uh, flower on them, and they're a reverse of each other, so this one's white with the rainbow flower and trim, and this is rainbow with the white flower and the white trim, and I absolutely love them. I think they are amazing. They will be displayed in a tiny house. Um, I don't have a good place to display them at my desk, so they will be part of the tiny house. Um, then I started working on Christmas to keep myself busy. 
<coughs> Every year I saturate the first floor with angels. I don't know if anybody even knows it's me. We don't even have the same bankers anymore. Tiffany has hers displayed um, in her office. And she has them. She knows who does it, I think. But she has them. I did a little beaded one, and then I did a crocheted one. Well, this year, I'm going to do a wood one. So I found these blanks, 150 of them, for like $20. And I, I just couldn't leave them like this. There's a poem that goes with them, you know. And so I thought, hmm, okay. So I did, the first thing I did was paint some of them. Now, I'm, this is Macy's set, so I did paint them, okay, just, and then I put glitter on them, uh, glitter glue, just painted it on over it so that it would have some sparkle, and you can see it from here, camera can't see it, and then I wrote, like, faith, Noel, joy, love, believe, hope, and I did a set of six. Okay, now I still have the jute in here that I've got to cut the strings for. But then I did a second set for Tori. I didn't put the words on it. I put the words on these, then thought, I don't want to have to hand write all of them. So, Macy's set was the thing. And you'll find that hers is the darkest, too, because I figured out these little things suck up so much paint just to get color. So, I started doing just a wash mixed I, I actually diluted it down with um some water and i did some wash and i came up with pink um now these are tories and they're totally done i have six of them a set of six for her and they also have glitter on the front i don't know if i don't think the camera's picking that up but it's yeah it's just glitter glue and i just painted it on over the thing and then hers, of course, already have the little ties on them. So, I've made those. There are 80 employees. Now, I made two sets of six. So, I still have quite a few angels. But I do have put ties in all of them. So, I have those. And then I sat and did these. And I washed some brown ones. I did some brown, some white. Some are just um, plain white with the glitter on them. Let me see here. Yeah. I wonder if you can see it on that. I don't know if you can see the glitter or not, but we have plain light ones with that. We have some light washed brown ones. We have some of the pink ones. We have some pink with sparkles. I literally have 80 in this bag. So I've got to put the ties on those two and then I'm ready for the work stuff. Well, I say that. Then I'm ready to finish my work stuff. No. So I already have made the um, phone holders, which are for the bankers. We have a Christmas party together. Well, management attends that meeting. And one idea got blown out of proportion, but I'm going to run with it. So... <clears throat> we have one gentleman, and his only bow tie is actually made out of wood. And I was teasing him, and he said he could only wear it with a cardigan because of the way it's constructed and blah, blah, blah. And so, yeah, so I decided I was going to make him some bow ties. And I'm going to make him a whole set. So I told the other girls at work, and one girl says, you know, too bad you can't find some uh, yellow VW bug material because a yellow VW Bug is our courier car. He's got our, we actually have two of them. Um, we give away scrunchy VW Bugs. We, yeah, it, it's our logo. It's our, our mascot there. Um, it's what we're known for. The yellow VW Bug is what our bank is known for. So anyway, um, I did some Googling and did you know you can find anything on Google? I'm telling you. So, I found some VW bug material. Well, then we decided, after talking, you know, it just evolved, okay? So, I said, oh, I'm going to make him a uh, bow tie. 
And then it went from there, and they said, you know, um, our other manager, she's, she wears tie ties. It'd be cool if you made him, her a tie, if you could get enough material to make her a tie, and then him a bow tie, and then they could match. And So then we have another manager at that same facility and two managers off-site that are at different branches. And so it grew from there because you couldn't leave the two off site out. Anyway, I have made two neckties, okay, two women's, uh, I, I don't want to say ascot because I think that's for a man, but they're women's, they're the little side ties, they can tie them up in their hair, they can tie, you know, and they just have the angled end, so basically it just ties around your neck. Uh, I've made two of those already. I have two bow ties cut. I just have to actually get myself together, seam them up, sew them, all that stuff. And then I have two ties that are full length ties that I'm making. And I made a prototype because there was so much variance on ties on the internet that I want to make sure that if they decide to wear these, that they're usable. So I've got and the bow ties and the ascots for life, they're lined with silk. Okay. Actually, I think it's a blend. I don't think it's true 100% silk, but it's super soft, super lined. Um, I have to see where to pin my, uh, tie keeper and Scott is going to try this one on now this one I have split it will be sewed all the way down it will be you know hence usable and this one does not have any um, stabilizer in there in it interfacing in it so it's because it was a prototype so I'm going to take it today and see if um, he's got time to tie it and see that it hits the right spot. Um, the first one I did, I used a pattern from the internet and it only went mid belly. I really want them to be usable. So I'm going to have him tie this one and then I've got, this one is a long one and then I, my pattern, I lengthened it, but it's not quite as long as this one. So if this one is the perfect length, this one I will rip apart and this will be my pattern. If it's too long, then the other one that I modified the pattern will be my pattern. I think it's going to be this one, though. So, and then, of course, i got to figure out, I need to put a pin with it and see where to, to put the strap, or not the strap, the keeper. You know, you tuck your tie down in there. Anyway, so I still have the ties to work on. Um, that's what all of this back here is, is the angels and the bow ties and the regular ties um so i've got those i started ordering the kids christmas um they're getting deep fryers neither one of them have them just a little two quart is enough for two people um you know it's rj's tiny house won't hold a whole lot so i didn't get real big uh then i've come up with some other gadgets and i can't think of not one thing um, Macy's getting a set, and, and I may open the box and split it up and give RJ one and her one. They're hand warmers, but I, th I think Tori is getting RJ a set, so I don't want to do that. Um, anyway, I got, they have a flashlight, they are hand warmers, and they charge your phone. So they're just the little packs that, you know, are the hand warmers, but the electricity, of course, will charge the phone. It, it'll be perfect for when they're rodeoing and doing chores. So, um, I got her that. I'm going to come up with a game. And then, uh, I don't know. I've got several different things purchased. I've got things on the list that I want to get. But I think I, I honestly have Christmas under control. I've got some things that I'm going to get made. But... Um, I think that is all I have in this room. I did do go to the tiny house and this time I ran into a little trouble 
Um, so we had our first frost, first freeze. It's not a freeze because nothing froze solid, but it did frost over. And I had um, cut down a bunch of stuff. And I had been cutting stuff down, leaving it dry, and I had been able to just pull it apart um, and get it to the pile because you could tell what was down because it was brown and what wasn't because it was green. We had our first uh, frost. And that went to the wayside because you, when I went out there, you know, I, I didn't go out there the weekend before last because of the shower. Um, I attended the shower, didn't go. So when I went out there after the frost, everything was brown. You couldn't tell, again, when I, just like when I was cutting it down, you really couldn't tell what was cut and what wasn't. So last week when I went and I figured out that Oh no, I can't tell what I've cut down and what I haven't. And I did go get a leaf rake. So that is going to be much easier to do. So I cut as much down as I could figure out that I needed. Um, this next week, I think I got everything down. Um, I do have to take a sledgehammer with me and break a cinder block that a tree has started in. And I've got to take the sawzall so I could um, cut away that one and get my little, my other little tree um, out of the bucket. So, but for the most part, I am just going to be cleaning the land, um, cleaning up what I've cut down. I've got limbs down. I've got, you know, once I get it cleaned up, then I'm just waiting for some rain so that I can burn. Once I get it burnt, then I can get the delivery truck down in there to get the wood, to start the floor, to start the walls. Yeah, but if I can't get the wood in there, I can't get any further on the house. So I've got to clear the land and then go from there. But I did take a little bit of footage. Honestly, guys, to me, it's not looking any different. I'm going to put it in here just so that's hitch just so that you guys can see maybe if you're watching a week apart you can tell the difference if i went back and watched the very first video i'm sure i could tell a difference but it's just all looking the same after weeks and weeks of going out there and, and clearing that land I, I don't know that i'm making any headway it all starting to look the same to me but anyway here's that video okay so we had a frost last week, or freeze, um, it was down to 32, so when I came out here, everything that I had down was brown, plus everything had started to turn brown because of the frost, or the freeze, and I couldn't tell what was what, so my plan today switched to, I just wanted to get it all down, so yes, it's a mess, no, I did not clean as I went, but I have 90% of all of it down. I've got some fence over there to fix. Um, found the peach tree. It had fallen over. That's the one that the bull busted that we tried to save. And anyway, yeah. So, um, it's looking really good. I do think I'm going to keep this guy. Oops, sorry for the fast move. This guy right here. I've got to get him. i got my nippers. I'm going to nip off those bottom ones and give him a fighting chance when we get some rain. Um, he is in a cinder block, so I'm going to have to break the cinder block apart to get it off of him. So, sledgehammer next weekend. Right. So, I just topped this tr little tree out. By spring, he should fill out really nicely. I'm going to go up here and do the other one that I'm going to save and keep. Okay, so a final thought on stuff that I did today. So, there used to be a pile of stuff right here, and this was over here. Now this front panel is supposed to move off. That T-post is there because I don't have the gate yet. Then again, you know, my fence isn't great either. So, um, I'm hoping to do cable and uh, do it across here and then put a gate right here and then cable down that way and then I'll just have a woven wire down that way. Um, there probably will be woven wire over the cable. I don't know. It just depends on what all I get done. Um, but that's the least of my worries right now because I don't have any animals in there. Uh, but what I do need is when this panel is removed, we're supposed to have a straight shot. I don't know if you can see how wide that is. 
but there's supposed to be a straight shot back to the house so I can unload materials. Well, we have a pile of stuff that has to be burnt and a pile of wood that I think they can work around that um, is in the way to get the truck back there. So I can't take any deliveries until at least that big pile right there. Oops, sorry. That pile right there gets burnt. So I'm working on it. I've got a lot of stuff down, some trees trimmed up. Um, I still need to trim that big old honking one over there um, and get it down to size. <laughs> and I've got to top a lot of these. So anyway, I'll get there. Okay, so it is what it is. Um, I'm getting there. Slowly but surely, I'm getting there. The final thing that's going on this week that has me finish up the purple thing and uh, so RJ is out in Vegas for the Indian National Rodeos Finals. He is doing amazing. The first go round, so it's a three header in a short. The first go round, I think he was just nerd. There was so much going on. Um, it's Vegas, number one. Number two, South Point is a huge facility. Um, it's his first experience flying out there first off. He'd just flown out there the day before um, by himself. Now, him and I have flown a couple of times prior to that. But, yeah. So, he flew out there the day before. His horse was brought by somebody else. Yeah, he's just, uh, it, it's a lot. Um and he missed okay so he didn't get a time in the books he was really disappointed in himself you know the whole work so him and i i mean i had prayed the night before but i've been really on him when he was a kid and before he entered an arena he would take off his hat he was on his horse and you know they opened the gate for you to go in he would take off his hat Put it across his heart he would bow his head and he would say a prayer well over time he's gotten away from that he knows the lord but he doesn't thank him endlessly and he he's at this point in his life he's to that point where he just cries out when he's in trouble well I told him, I said, you have to thank him for every run. Thank him. I said, you quit asking him to win. I said, you ask him to let his light shine. And I said, and then if you do let his light shine, you tell everyone that was his light. I said, you have to. And so, you know kids in their 20s. And it, he's so quiet about everything. He doesn't you know put it all out there he hopes that how he treats people and animals and that shows what a man he is but I I've gotten on to him and, and in the last week him and I have prayed through text okay um, we have rebuked the devil out of his life you know things are not going as he's planned he, he told me Mom, I just feel like every time I turn around I'm getting kicked in the gut now, he said that before he got to Vegas. And I said, well, you know what? This trip's going to turn it around. And I said, all you got to do is hit your knees, boy, and pray. And uh, so I've been on him about it. And the whole time that he's been out there, every day, I tell him, I, I rebuke the devil and claim it in RJ's name, first off. Um, I pray that the Lord fills his heart so that he hears my words and heeds God's warning um, I pray for the right person to cross his path as he needs it anyway I have a whole list of things that I'm praying for RJ um, and he does claim it with an amen through text I don't know if he repeats the words I don't know if he hits his knees um, I just keep on him and tell him he should uh, but so the first night nothing the second night um he, i honestly hope that it was him praying with um i had some other people join me in prayer 
and explain that RJ just needs a win. You know, he he's down, he's out, he's getting ready to get married, he's got a lot going on, and he just feels like the devil keeps kicking him. So, all my friends, all of the people that call in to me, um, that we pray for each other, and this is one thing about being small town customer service, I actually know those people. I know their names, I know their addresses, I know their bank accounts, I know what's going on in their lives. We have conversations um, at least once a week. So all of my regulars that call in, um, I have them all praying for RJ. And uh, of course anybody at work that will listen is praying for RJ. Uh, that is one thing about having a faith-based business that you work for, you got the power of the Lord. So anyway. That second day, everybody was praying, and I'm so proud of him. He did it in 9.17 seconds. So, yes, uh, he then had his run last night, 9.44 seconds. So everybody is just praying things work out in God's life. And I'm hoping and praying that RJ sees it for what it is, God's light. So anyway, super proud of him. I have stayed up late every night watching this stupid rodeo. And the sir, it's on Ride Pass, and I found it online free. Sometimes just remember you get what you pay for. <laughs> So Macy didn't know that it was on TV and she, when I asked her if she was watching, because mine kept loading early on, it wouldn't like play, but for a few minutes and then it would load and then it would look. So anyway, and she's like, I didn't know it was on. And she's like, where's it at? So I got her to the right, like, you have to go to Pluto, Pluto TV and then you have to go to Ride Pass and then watch live. And so I got her logged in. It was funny because I was like, I'm loading now. And uh, so I'd text her and, you know, we'd talk. And then I'd go quiet because mine was done loading. And then I'd get a ding. Mine's loading now. <laughs> and it was her telling me that she was loading. And then she'd go quiet. And so, yeah, it was one of those things that we would text each other when we couldn't watch the rodeo. And I got to see the run. I think she did too. I don't think it was loading at that time for either one of us because, um, and she's harder on him than I am. So, oh, there's my alarm. I better get off of here. <laughs> um, so anyway, we got to see him on TV. He's got, that was his last run. They are going by aggregate, so um, there's been a bunch of people missing. Um, it depends on whether everybody catches if the top, how many ever spots they pay for aggregate. I want to say six. If the top six all catch three. If only four people catch three, he has a chance of placing in the aggregate. So, um, he's done until the short go round. And if he makes the top whatever in the aggregate, then he makes the shirt go round. Uh, so I will keep you all posted. But as for right now, I need to go get ready for work. <sighs> I'm running late because the time difference between Vegas and here is two hours. Yeah, that means he doesn't actually get to rope. It doesn't even start until 8.15, 8.30. Yeah, I'm running slow. But it's Friday. I'm going to get through this. I am late podcasting, but hey, at least I'm getting everything done this week. But all right, you guys, I'm off of here. I will talk to you later and keep praying for RJ, please. Um, say a prayer for him that his times are enough to get him to the final and then, then the, the final is enough. He just really needs this wind. He needs everything to fall into place to know that he's doing what God wants him to do. That he's in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Because right now he doesn't feel that. So, um, 
yeah, if you just could help me out praying for that, that would be awesome. Y'all have a great week, and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.